the relevance, would you say, on the total picture in Africa of the situation in the Union of South Africa today? Well, um, right now, the situation in the Union of South Africa is that the government is trying to separate the Africans from, uh, from the whites. Well, personally, I don't think the Africans like to be separated from the whites. Uh, Elaine might, might disagree with me on this point, but... We ought to give you a chance oh, to explain yes. to us what's happening in the Union of South Africa today. Well, if you want to understand what is happening down there, you must have a, a background. And I'll just try to give it very briefly to you. You must bear in mind, South Africa, we have population of eight and a half million natives and two and a half million white people. We have built a nation down there in South Africa, and we are not going to commit suicide. Neither do we want to commit suicide in a relation with the black people. We want in South Africa two different nations. We don't want an intermixture when you're neither the one nor the other. Because the black people in South Africa don't want it and the white people don't want it themselves either. Therefore, both of us want two different nations living in peace in one country, in one community. Now, wait a minute. Oh. Then why are you enforcing these regulations if the, if the black people don't want to mix with the white but people? But now you must remember, Dick, it's not all the black people. There are those surface or those, those few that want to mix. And there are the few of the white people that want to mix too, but you, well, must, you must look to majority. Yes, well, well, if you, you, look, to, if you look to the majority, then you won't need to keep them apart. The, the, if it's such a small minority, they're, they're not Yes, but we don't want a certain intermixture, you see? We want a clear line. You why have a certain kind of people, and then you have three different groups of people. We have three already are now. We don't want more. Um, I mean, Eileen, you have some people who, who want to mix. Why, why don't you want to allow them to mix? Since uh, I understand South Africa is a democracy, and you allow anybody to do what, what he wants, except that his freedom doesn't, doesn't uh, interfere with somebody else's. Well, supposing an African wants to marry uh, a white girl, what do you do about that? I suppose you don't allow it. No, it's not. Why not? Because we, if we start allowing intermarriage, we will, we, will, we will have a nation or some part of a nation being white, some part of a nation being black, some part of a nation being another color, and it'll be all one big intermixture of races. We then don't want that. Then oh. you are frightened. That's why, you don't don't, want... why you're enforcing no, these regulations. No, we're not frightened. Yes, we're but not... you're frightened that, that, that the white race is going to be slowly eliminated by the intermixture uh -huh. of the two. No, yes. it's not a case of being frightened, Dick. It's just a case of being a fact. Okay. It's not frightened. Um, it's just but it's a not fact. A, it's not a fact yet. It isn't a it's, fact. It's a fact of the future. Elaine? If that is going to yes, but you're being, you're, yeah, but it may be a fact of the future, but you're proving that, that you're frightened of the fact that is going to come, of that fact that is going to come. Of course it is a fact that well, is going to come. Well, that's why That is why you're enforcing these regulations. But, Kitty, but uh, Dick, it's not a case of enforcing them. It's a case of having been like that all the time. Elaine, I have a feeling that you're enforcing these things. There are some, some South Africans who want it. Uh, there's some whites who want it and some Africans who want it. And I think you're, you're, you're forcing this thing not primarily because the Af both the Africans and the, the, the whites don't like it, but because you're afraid of what's going to happen in the future. Kitty, but you must look at the majority of people. Can't yeah, and, and the majority of the people are afraid of what is going to happen in the future, right? The majority of white people as well as the majority of black people. Are afraid of the because what's both happen. races are going to go under. You see? Then the majority of the black people are quite willing and quite ready to accept quite, these enforcements. Oh, quite willing. There's not, there's not even a, a matter oh, with I them. See. It's just a little a little handful of our black people. And to tell you the truth, uh, Dick, that is mainly the people working on the mines in Johannesburg. And 90,000 of those natives working on the mines come from other parts of South Afri of Africa. And it's it's not even African it's just these, in South Africa. It's just a small minority who force their way into trains and uh, yes, carry on just the huge, a very, very small minority. And, uh, I'm sorry uh, to interrupt. You have a raised some questions, certainly, that we can't answer, but our time is over, and we've got to, we can continue this, I'm sorry, it went oh, quickly, no. didn't it, oh, there was I much I know you didn't want to say. Next week, we'll be back at the same time. This is Helen Hyatt Wallace.